Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous session, we examined the various SLE styles in Java Server in detail. In this session, we will explore the WFS transactions available in Java Server. For more information, watch the rest of this video. The Web Feature Service or WFS transaction in Java Server enables users the ability to manipulate geographic data for serving and editing Java special information over the web. This feature allows for direct editing of special features within a dataset through a web browser or application without needing to download and edit the data locally. To perform a WFS transaction in Java Server, users can send XML requests to the server indicating the desired operation. For example, insert, update, delete, and the specific features to modify. The server then processes the request and makes the necessary change to the underlying data store, reflecting the updates in real time. WFS transactions in Java Server are essential for dynamic editing of special data in applications like online maps, collaborative planning systems, and field data collection tools. They improve efficiency, enhance data accuracy, and support real-time collaboration on your special projects. WFS Insert Feature The Insert Feature operation in Java Server, when used with the WFS Transaction feature, enables users to append new feature to an existing dataset. This process ensures that the new feature is securely added to the layer without any issues, such as data duplication or errors. Here is an example of how to use it in Java Server. Let's use a WFS layer available in Java Server called Tasmania Underline Roads layer with an attribute like type. To insert a new feature, navigate to the demo page, then select Demo Requests. From the Request drop-down list, select WFS Underline Transaction Insert.xml. Let's say we want to add a new street and the location coordinates. Now I did the codes displayed on the screen. Remember that using WFS transaction in Java Server requires appropriate permissions and access rights to ensure that only authorized users can modify the data. Enter the username and password to be authorized and then press the submit button. The XML request is sent to the Java Server WFS service either via the web client such as a browser or via programmatic tools using an HTTP client library such as CURL or Python requests. Java Server processes the transaction request. If successful, it adds the new feature to the road layer. If unsuccessful, irrelevant error information is displayed and no changes are made to the data. Navigate to the Layer Preview section and open up the Open Layers Preview for the Tasmania Underline Roads layer. Your map should now look as shown on the screen. We have successfully used the Insert feature with WFS Transaction in Java Server to add a new street to your dataset. You can repeat this process to insert multiple features at once or update existing features by modifying the XML file accordingly. WFS Update Feature The update feature with WFS Transaction in Java Server allows users to modify existing features in a special dataset. By submitting a request to Java Server that specifies the feature type and desired attribute chains, users can efficiently update the specified attributes of the feature. Remember to always back up your data and configuration before making any chains to avoid potential data loss or unexpected behavior. Here are the steps to perform an update feature with WFS Transaction in Java Server. Select WFS Underline Transaction Update.xml from the Request drop-down list. Let's modify the type of FID15 by editing the codes on the screen.
You can replace top column Tasmania underline roads with your actual workspace and layer name. Type with the attribute you want to update, railway with the new value, and feature ID with the feature ID you want to update. Enter the username and password to be authorized and then press the submit button. After the Joe server has processed the transaction request, go back to the layer preview section and this time open the Joe JSON format for the Tasmania Underland Roads layer. As you can see, the street type has been changed to railway. By using the update feature with WFS transactions, you can easily modify the attributes of your special feature in your dataset using a standard HTTP requests. This is especially useful when you want to update your geospatial data without having to directly access the underlying data store. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. In addition, the WFS transaction update feature allows you to not only retrieve data but also modify the geometry of features within your dataset. By utilizing this functionality, you are able to make changes such as altering the shape, location, and size of various features. To do it, select WFS underline transaction update geom.xml from the request dropdown list, then edit the codes as shown on the screen. To change the geometry name of the desired layer, you must use the specific name in the WFS column property. This name can be obtained from the WFS get feature request in JSON format. Enter the username and password to be authorized, and then press the submit button. After the Joe server has processed the transaction request, go back to the layer preview section and open up the open layers preview for the Tasmania underline roads layer. Your map should now look as shown on the screen. WFS delete feature. This operation allows users to selectively remove specific features from a dataset by providing their unique identifiers. The process of deleting features can be seamlessly executed through the WFS transaction capabilities in Joe server. This functionality gives users more control over the Joe special database, helping them manage and manipulate data efficiently. To perform a delete feature operation with WFS transaction, follow these steps. Select WFS underline transaction delete.xml from the request dropdown list, then let's edit the codes. Enter the username and password to be authorized, and then press the submit button. After the Joe server has processed the transaction request, open the open layers preview for the Tasmania underline roles layer from the layer preview section. As you can see, the FID15 has been deleted. Remember that you can define filter conditions to remove the specific features using the WFS delete transaction. This can include feature IDs, attributes, special extent, or other criteria. As an example, let's remove the feature whose type attribute is equal to road. To do this, follow the steps displayed on the screen. Enter the username and password to be authorized, and then press the submit button. After the show server has processed the transaction request, preview the Tasmania underline roads layer. 
As you can see, the features that have a type equal to road have been deleted. In this session, we examine the WFS transaction available in Java Server in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in Java Server software from beginner to advanced levels without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos, and share them with your friends. Also, if you'd like to know more information about the various filter styles, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!